Do you have any dispute with the University of Nairobi that is alive over your LLB degree? None, Mr. Speaker. End of story. That is it. Yeah. Number two, have you ever uttered anywhere a degree from India? Not, no, no, Mr. Speaker. Do you have a degree from India? And Mr. Speaker, yes. And the documents are here to support that. This matter has been conversed in court in two cases, in three cases actually, in 2017. Is the, there are own documents here. And India. I will not be able to mention on that because the same matter again has been raised. The hearing for this case is on 4th of November. Issues and around your yes, Indian degree. Yes. Uh, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Issues around your Indian degree are in court. Yes. Is that the reason why you did not attach that disputed Indian degree? That is no, not, that, not really, Mr. Speaker. It's also because the documents that I attached are the documents I'm able to access. One of the issues where it is. Yeah, that's in, exactly what I'm asking you. I, I that you to, attached the Kenyan degree from the University of Nairobi yeah. because it has no issues. It doesn't, doesn't have issues. The matter rests there. Answer other questions. Speaker, how does it rest, really? When he has said that he has got an Indian degree, the certificate must be with him. The degree certificate must be with him somewhere. He says, yes. if I got him right, he has an Indian degree. It has issues around it. The issues are in court. They are active and therefore sub judice. And uh, we are not here to inquire into his degrees. In any case, the possession of a degree is not a requirement for him to be a minister. But if he has a disputed degree and the degree is uh, found invalid, it goes down to his integrity. Yeah. Yes. Yes.